Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Putty and welcome back for another edition of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Wrestling Classic 2024, the February show. And tonight is very, very special indeed. We are at the MAW Zone, the Maw Zone, of course, uh, for the the big choice, the big pick as Robin DeLay, the winner of the Ripcord Invitational, needs to decide who he is going to be facing uh, f- next next month, actually, will be the match at uh, Americana. Who he will be fa- or maybe it's Super Showdown. I think it might be Super Showdown, actually. Um, but next month, for their title, we have a special ceremony, of course, with uh, all of the regional champions of the territories, as well as the world's heavyweight champion, standing in the ring in tonight's main event, and also a bunch of contracts. Robin DeLay will sign one of them, or maybe even pick a tag team title, maybe pick some other title. It's up to him. Um, But if he picks one of the regional titles or the world title, then there will be a pre-made match contract ready for him to sign, and uh, we'll be ready for next month's big main event. Much more to come on the show, of course. Our main event match of the evening will be a 2 out of 3 falls match between Audi Goon and Devil May Care for the MAW tag team titles. Much more to come on the show. Let's get right into it. We start things off with James Diaz in the interview where he says, you know, I became Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Champion where it all began again. And the m- next month I said that anybody on the actual roster couldn't beat me. So I was hoping that one of the hot prospects would step up. But they didn't. And I stand by that, that nobody on this roster can beat me. So I'm going to lay my title down right here in the middle of the ring and issue an open challenge. If anybody wants to step up and face me, I'll happily put my championship on the line. The lights dim, and the man who answers the challenge is American Elemental, and these two have one hell of a sprint. American Elemental, of course, was given a shot here at Mid-Atlantic Wrestling, and proved us all, uh, proved to the world that he was one of the greatest wrestlers in the world today, and indeed in this matchup, he once again proves it using that Japanese-influenced Puroresu using those stiff strikes and and great technical wrestling, as well as his fast-paced high-flying, to take it to the big money monster, James Diaz, the Mid-Atlantic wrestling champion. Wrestling uh, loops around him almost, just moving uh, moving from hold to hold, trying to slow down the big money monster. But uh, James Diaz is a freak. He's a specimen. He's one of the biggest and baddest men around. And he hits those ropes, and like a bull in a china shop, he wrecks. The masked legend, the colorful superstar that is American Elemental, just massive strikes to the face of Amel. And in the end, James Diaz with that monster mash, big tombstone pile driver, picks up the victory and is still the mid Atlantic wrestling champion. So you move on to a match between the fast talking, fast working LA lifestyle SWF alum. Earl Martin taking on one of the greatest crossover athletes in professional wrestling today. One of MC Motormouth's dream team clients, Jack Wood. Jack Wood takes it to Earl Martin with his vicious chain wrestling. He is one of the best in the world at chain wrestling. Suplex after suplex, nasty brain buster, big kicks, brutal strikes from Jack Wood. As Earl Martin tries to fire up, tries to use his traditional wrestling striking style. Just trying to brawl with Jack Wood. Jack Wood is not a brawler. Jack Wood is a striker. And he is a chain wrestler. And he's just too... Uh, technically adept to be taken down by the very rudimentary moves of Earl Martin. And in the end, he catches him in that zero choker. And Earl Martin falls to the mat, completely lifeless. And Jack Wood with another big victory. One of the uh, more, more impressive athletes on the roster today is Jack Wood. Great wrestling, great match. And we move on to the outlaw, Mike Graves, taking it to Froshore, who of course uh, has been on a bit of a, 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 ba- a bad turn lately. In fact, he, he, it's gotten so bad that uh, Davis Wayne Newton has been offering Fro to join him. Davis Wayne Newton, of course, a former friend of Froshore's and then turned deadly rival. Froshore sees a lot in Davis Wayne Newton of himself, but Davis Wayne Newton took the dark path. Davis Wayne Newton uh, cut corners, whereas Froshore is, is a man of virtue, a man of great principle. And tonight he's facing a man very similar to Davis Wayne Newton, the outlaw Mike Graves, a hot young superstar who's been going around the territories trying to uh, just just getting wins here and there, trying to show to the world that he is one of the most 
uh, deadly young stars on on the circuit tonight, and he and he shows that again tonight. For sure, it's one of the best brawlers, one of the best strikers in the business today, and he takes those punches to Mike Graves. Mike Graves, the outlaw, is just just loves a good wild brawl and gives it right back to Fro Shore, gives it right back to the ca- coastal zone Californian striker. Co- uh, Fro Shore just uh, you know gets involved in a, in a wilder brawl than he's used to. Fro is, you know, Fro is definitely not the most controlled striker in the world, but he's used to a kind of a normal pace. Mike Graves just completely ignores that normal pace of professional wrestling and just takes things up a notch. Just a wild, uncontrollable striker is Mike Graves, and Fro Shore is completely off his game. Fro Shore just completely. Uh, like uh, wrong footed completely out of his element and he he just gets taken to by Mike Graves punch after punch just completely knocking Froshore through a loop tonight and Froshore sees a couple of opportunities where he could have tripped up Mike Graves maybe raked the eyes a bit but of course Froshore refuses and in the end Mike Graves uh, rolls Froshore up uses the ropes for leverage picks up the victory and Mike Graves with a huge victory over a great wrestler in Fro Shore tonight. After the match, Fro looks very frustrated, very angry. He punches the floor. He doesn't. He doesn't shake Mike Graves' hands. He doesn't congratulate him for a big victory. Just very angry, very upset. Fro Shore not in a good headspace at the moment. And we move on to Dewey Archer taking on the young Al Nice. Oh, nice, of course, uh, a, a very basic grappler from the Mid-Atlantic Dojo with a few brawling uh, attributes mixed in. Of course, Dewey Archer, former Mid-Atlantic champion, one of the greatest technical wrestlers on the circuit today, trained by the legendary Sam Keith, and he locks Al Nice in a number of submission holds. Brutal and nasty like the architect Dewey Archer tends to be. Just reeking back on the limbs and the, and the neck of Al Nice, just working him over, grinding him out. And pick up the victory with that legendary proton lock. And we have Gary Walker and Team Progress member Marv Statler going to war. Gary Walker, of course, the underdog, been on been on a bit of a roll lately, been picking up some big victories, including, of course, at where it all begins again, a big victory over the world's heavyweight champion, Logan Wolfsbane, almost certainly bound for a world's heavyweight championship opportunity in the near future is Gary Walker. You'd have to believe if uh, if Robin Delay doesn't pick Logan Wolf Spain tonight, which it's very unlikely he will, considering their stablemate, their their stablemates, um, then then perhaps Gary Walker and Logan Wolf Spain will be doing battle as soon as next month. But tonight he has a big test in Marv Statler, Logan Wolf Spain's uh, right hand man as of late uh, on occasion over in Chicago, and uh, Marv Statler. Takes it to Gary Walker with the, with those high octane throw suplexes, uh, chain wrestling that Marv Statler was known for in the ring generals. Marv Statler was known as being the fast paced, high octane man, whereas dirty and deadly Dean Waldorf ground out results. And indeed, he takes it to Gary Walker today with a with a very uh, uh, with a variety of throws and holds and suplexes just to take. Uh, Gary Walker off his game, but Gary Walker's got that heart, he's got that passion, and he's willing, ready, and able to fight back against a guy like Marv Statler, a guy who represents those values of team progress, win at any cost, something that uh, Gary Walker does not believe in. He had to claw and fight his way even into the wrestling business, and he believes that you need to do wrestling the right way, no cheating, no corners cut, Gary Walker is a man of principles, and tonight he shows that our attitude can pay off. Big drop kicks, big punches, and in the end, that bionic clothesline puts Marv Statler down. And Gary Walker, big victory. You know, he can claim Marv Statler as another scalp, as he's uh, he's got some big underdog victories over the last couple of months. He even made it to the quarterfinals of the Ripcord Invitational. Huge result for Gary Walker. Huge, huge result for Gary Walker. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. It is a tag team match, two out of three falls. Audi Goon, the greatest Asian-American tag team in history, the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions, one of the most heartfelt tag team stories of, of the last year. Their debut year as a tag team, they won the Sam Keith Classic, they won the Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Championships. Tonight, they're up against the Valhalla Boys. Devil May Care, three-time Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions, current World Tag Team Champions, multiple-time Sam Keith Classic winners. They don't care how many concussions, how many broken bones they get, so long as at the end of the day they get their glory and indeed they throw themselves. They use their bodies as a weapon against Audi Goon and it 
it, it eventually, like not eventually, but at the start, it seems to work. You know, that high flying Valhalla boy style that we're used to seeing from Devil May Care. It does. It does. It does end up working on Audi Goon, but Audi Goon are also a fast-paced tag team. They like a bit of flippy shit, and so they take it to Devil May Care with their high-octane tag team wrestling. Fast tags. It almost turns into a tornado tag at various points because the referee just can't keep a hold on this matchup. But uh, but it is it is an absolute equal. It is an equilibrium. It is an absolutely equal match as Audi Goon and Devil May Care take it to each other with high flying innovative maneuvers. However, there's that wild card. There's that third man of Devil May Care in Kamikaze who gets involved multiple times during the first fall. Multiple times uh, to, to, to set Audi Goon off their game, to set Audi Goon away from their, uh, their mentality, away from their strategy. And Devil May Care are able to pick up that first fall. But Audi Goon will not be set back. Audi Goon will not uh, be taken for granted. And they fire back with passion and heart. And they take it to the Valhalla boys. High flying, big drop kicks, innovative maneuvers from Audi Goon as they set the pace to maximum. And they overcome the three on two odds to take the match back into their own hands. Picking up two straight falls. The final one with Dragon Rising and Audi Goon are still the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions. Despite the fact that during the match it seems like Terry Dale has picked up a very, very nasty injury as he uh, ends the match with a broken neck. That could put some some real problems in Audi Goon's future, but we're going to have to deal with that in the next episode. For now, we have our main event. It's time for Robin DeLay's big choice. He comes out. Yes, I'm... Oh, oh yeah. Stuntman, that's a... That's a big issue. But yes, Sam Keith is out. With uh, with all of the champions from across the territories, we have the world's heavyweight champion, Logan Wolfsbane. We have the... Uh, 4C champion Lefty Wilkes. We have the universe, uh, the Campeonato de Universal Oli in Mr. Lucha 3. We have the Chicago Championship Wrestling Champion Ar- Akira Arato. We have the... Oh, Harry Allen isn't here. Uh, Harry Allen should be here. He's the Coastal Zone Champion. I, he, I did sign him for tonight. I guess I'm just going to have to release him now. Kip Keenan is the... Uh, f- uh, the Puerto Rican Champion. The, f- uh, the Freedom Caribbean Wrestling Champion. Um, and Papa Dan is just out there uh, to supervise Robin Delay, because Robin Delay comes out with big celebration, streamers, confetti, and a couple seconds later, Papa Dan falls behind him, just looking at Robin, not saying anything, not going for a mic, just looking at Robin, and Robin's looking at him really weird, and uh, and Robin gets in the ring, obviously it's just Logan, it's not Marv, because Marv's recovering from his injuries earlier in the night, Robin gets in the ring, and he you know shakes Logan's hand, smiles from the stable mates, all, all big and happy, and Sam Keith goes through, you know, congratulations Robin Delay, big victory in the, in the Ripcord Invitational, you now get to pick any champion you want. We've assembled the regional champions, the world heavyweight champion. If you want to pick any other title, we'll get that arranged for you. But if you're interested in any of these, we have contracts ready. And it shows them to a table where there are like seven or eight contracts for the world champion, all the regional championships. James Diaz is also out there. Yeah, I forgot about him. Um, and, uh, and all of the, yeah, just anything that, that Robin could possibly want. And uh, and he, you know, he says to... To Robin, so, so there you go. Now, now it is time to make your choice. And Robin delays, you know, smiles, looks around the champions. He picks up James Diaz's contract and looks James Diaz in the eyes. And James Diaz smiles, like, yeah, this could be, this could be a brutal match. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in this. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, Robin delay shakes James Diaz's hand. Logan Wolfsbane seems very approving of Robin delay's choice of James Diaz. Gives him a big thumbs up. And Robin delay picks up the Mid Atlantic Wrestling Championship contract. Gives a big thumbs up to Logan Wolfsbane. Big smile. Pearly whites of Robin DeLay. And then a frown. And then a thumbs down. And he throws the MAW Championship contract aside. The other regional champions start to get out of the ring. As Logan Wolfsbane starts to panic. Kick to the abdomen. The world title goes flying. Big monster powerbomb. The DeLay down. Through the table to Logan Wolfsbane. Robin DeLay thumbs up. Thumbs down. Picks up the world's heavyweight championship contract, signs it on the the corpse of Logan Wolfsbane, picks up the world title, and holds it aloft. Robin DeLay seems to have made his choice. And he is now... Oh, yeah, sure. 
Robin DeLay is going after the World Heavyweight Championship. He has turned on his Team Progress brethren. And it seems next month... Oh shit, really? People weren't following the script? That was an accident, I think, but oh well. Uh, he seems to be going after the uh, the Mid-Atlantic... Sorry, the World Heavyweight Championship next month. Uh, he will be facing his old stablemate now, I guess we should call it, Logan Wolf Spain. And honestly, if you look at this long term, George Wolf's plan to disassemble Team Progress seems to have worked because the only men Logan Wolf Spain has left at his side is Marv Statler. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're feeling especially generous and particularly like the show, go ahead and check out a link to my Patreon description. If you want to hear me ramble on Twitter, there's a link to that in the description. Next episode is episode 100. Whoop, whoop. And the main event of that show is going to be the the monster. Not, well, that, that's that's James Diaz. But uh, the animal, I suppose. The freak of nature, Robin DeLay, facing Logan Spain for the world's heavyweight champion chained no longer robin delay has broken free of team progress can he win the world's championship find out next time see you guys then